You just returned from an outreach session where your vaccines were temporarily out of the correct temperature range. Can you tell which ones are safe to keep in the refrigerator and which should be discarded? VVMs give health workers a quick and easy way to determine if a vaccine has been exposed to too much heat and likely damaged and should be discarded. Let us look at how VVMs work. VVMs are placed on the label of the vaccine vial, on the cap of a vial, or on the neck of an ampule. The inner square is sensitive to heat. Its start color is lighter than the outer circle. As time passes and with exposure to heat, the inner square slowly becomes darker. As long as the inner square is lighter than the outer circle and the expiry date has not passed, it is safe to use the vaccine. When the inner square reaches the same color as the outer circle, the level of heat exposure has reached a point where the vaccine begins to degrade. This is the discard point. With more time and heat exposure, the inner square will continue to darken. Once a vaccine has reached its discard point, the vaccine should not be used and should be discarded. This rule holds true even if the expiry date has not passed. There are four different types of VVMs chosen to match the heat sensitivity of the vaccine. VVM2, VVM7, VVM14, and VVM30. The VVM number is the time in days that it takes for the inner square to reach the color indicating a discard point if the vial is exposed to a constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. So, a vaccine vial with a VVM2 stored at 37 degrees Celsius will reach its discard point in two days, while a vaccine vial with VVM30 would take 30 days to reach its discard point at the same temperature. VVMs do not just help determine which vaccines are safe to use and which ones should be discarded. They can also help you determine which vaccines should be used first. Vaccines with a darker VVM square, but still lighter than the outer circle, should be used first, even if its expiry date is further away. The ones with the darker VVMs will reach their discard point fastest. Just remember, VVMs can be compared only if they are on the same type of vaccine and are the same VVM type. VVMs can also help you pack for outreach sessions, especially if there is risk of temporary breaks in the cold chain. You will want to take vials with minimal heat exposure or VVMs with the lightest inner square. This enables you to take vaccines out of the cold chain for longer periods and serve people in remote or hard to reach locations. Checking VVM status is one of the main ways to ensure heat damaged vaccines are not administered. You should check a vaccine's VVM status when you receive vaccines at the health facility, recording VVM status on the arrival voucher, when you monitor vaccines in storage, when you pack for an outreach session, and before you administer any vaccine to a child. VVMs have another important role beyond measuring heat exposure. A VVM's location indicates whether a multi-dose vial can be opened and used again. If the VVM is attached to the label, the vaccine vial, once opened, can be kept in the cold chain and used in later immunization sessions for up to 28 days. If the VVM is not on the label, such as the cap of the vial or neck of an ampule, the vaccine must be discarded at the end of the immunization session or within six hours of opening, whichever comes first. This visual trigger applies only to WHO pre-qualified vaccines. Now you know some of the different ways to use VVMs. You can use VVMs to determine whether a vaccine is safe to use, which vaccines to use first, which vaccines to pack for an outreach session, and whether you can reuse an opened multi-dose vial after a session.